shots of uh, tequila here? Yes. Uh, it's, it's Mario's tequila. I said Mario. Do you guys know that? Mario is a, uh, a tequila aficionado. My aficionado who just drinks it every night. Right. And it helps to uh, also play for tequila. Yep. Uh, so we have your fans lined up on two sides here for questions. We've gone over some of the rules, we know there's a strike going on, we're respecting that, so we're respecting the fact that there are some questions we may or may not be able to answer. Uh, but we have also had the craziest questions come out. I haven't had a single panel this year that there haven't been multiple questions where our panelists have gone, oh, I've never asked that before. So be ready. They're gonna, right. they, they might get a little crazy. Challenges. Challenge accepted. Uh, these gentlemen over here have been waiting for like 15 minutes. They're ready to go, so I'm just going to get them all rolling. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Utah. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a dream seeing you guys here today. Oh my god. First, first off, I want to say, hearing the theme song growing up, I imagine each and every one of you singing it. <laughs> like Mark Paul, you be the very first part, and all the girl parts to do the girl parts. Oh my god, it's a dream. So, my question is for you, Elizabeth, and I might say this for everybody, or ask this for everybody, but you guys can join too if you want to. Um, exactly how excited are you to be here? I am so excited. Do you even get what I'm getting at? Anybody? What's that? Do you get what I'm getting at? Oh yes. Oh yes. Right away. Oh, that's gonna be upset. Hi, uh, my name's Rachel, and so my favorite Christmas movie is Twelve Dates of Christmas. So uh, I was just wondering what y'all's favorite Christmas movie is. Favorite Christmas. Come along. Uh, Christmas vacation. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, showgirls for sure. There's a Christmas scene in showgirls. Yes. There's a scene where I'm being interviewed. There's no bells. No. No. No jingle. Please. No jingle bells. <laughs> no, there is but there's a tree, so yeah. Okay, how about this? Is but I like the old school, like, Rudolph. The, the old school, and Frosty and Rudolph. I, I love showing that to my son. I want it's to be a dentist. <laughs> okay, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes. Have any of you seen Lucky Christmas that they did for Hallmark, or not really? Jason Ray Stanford, um, it was fun. Go ahead. Hi, my name's Tobias. Uh, my wife and I both love your shows that you guys have been in that I can't be. Um, <laughs> we watched all of your stuff. She couldn't be here in the other country with us, so I swear to her I didn't know my question. How amazing was it working together as a cast for so many years and growing up together? I was talking about tequila. How was I in a sidebar? How was it working with us all those years? Was it like the most magical thing? Because the was his director. He literally told everybody. You know, it was fun because we were kids. You know, we were actually teenagers playing teenagers, and so. Most yeah, time, unlike most shows, they're like 25, playing 15. <laughs> we were really 15 when we all met. So it made it fun, and we did it. Um, from what, what I remember, mainly in the summertime, so they didn't conflict too much with school. They didn't have to mess with um, having social work and going to school on set, which we did a little bit, but not too much, so it sort of benefited everyone to, to get it done in the summer. So it was just like having a cool summer job. At Malibu Sands. <laughs> did you ever have a summer job, like a real, you know, hot dog on a stick kind of summer job? Make a little bit. Yeah, I went for my own couple of uh, summer shows. That was like real work. <laughs> Hard work. For this one, it's much better. 
Over here. watching the show a while ago. Um, you met, one of you guys mentioned about National Lampoon. Uh, what is your favorite National Lampoon movie? I like how they kept changing the kids, you know, they kept changing the kids. <laughs> and we just went with it. Kind of like Save by the Bell, where yeah. characters and things like that. It was the one where they went to Vegas. I like the one where they went to Vegas. Whatever that one is. Vegas, Vegas. <laughs> I like the Christmas one and I like the original one. Christy Brinkley? Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, just yeah. like... Sealed. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just vacation. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so those two. Do you have a favorite answer? Favorite of them? Um, the, the OG. I think the OG. Or European? Or European? Or European was there. Over here. I think the I'm so excited episode. I love that Mark Paul and I got to do something really dramatic, but but I also any time we got to sing or dance in funny bands, making that video was fun. Those were always my favorite. Uh, I liked any time we were on the set. So like when we did the the uh, beach episodes and when we did like the Hawaiian. Like anytime we weren't in the studio, in the classroom, I, I, I like those. Yeah, same so anytime we got to get out. I mean, we got to do a couple, oh, great. couple movies too. Like, that was a lot of fun. We were on location and stuff. So anytime we got to get on location, it was always a lot of fun. Do you have a favorite uh, filming location throughout your career? We went to Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably Hawaii. <laughs> Can't really tell. Uh, over here, sir. Yeah, my name is Cameron, but I'm a twin brother that makes just like me. So it's been pretty cool to have you guys here come to Utah. I always love watching you guys growing up. And you guys are fun people. And uh, yeah, to remind me of my high school years, I can't believe it's been 20 years since my high school years. But, anyways, uh, I'm going to ask you, uh, I'm going to kind of off this. I was wondering if you really relate to one of the characters on the office. Uh, Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever watched the American version one. I, I watched the British. Uh, so, uh, but I, I appreciate both of them. I, I watched the uh, But I, I really liked watching Ricky Gervais uh, play the. Uh, was that the OG? No. <laughs> Granddaughter, and maybe his uh, grand, like his 
daughter. Um, and he goes, hey, can I ask your boys a question? You look like uh, really nice people. I'm like, oh boy. You know, <laughs> alarm bells start going off. He says, sure. He goes, uh, hey boys, let me ask you something. What does a, uh, what does a dog say? And they go, wolf. And he goes, what does a duck say? And they go, quack. And he goes, uh, what, does a, what does a cow say? And they go, no. And he goes, no. What does a cow say in Chick-fil-A? My son goes, eat more chicken. <laughs> He goes, well done, here's a prize. And he gives out these little gift cards. And I look at his name tag and it says Dan Cathy, uh, employee in training. You know who Dan Cathy is? He owns Chick-fil-A. <laughs> this is a guy who's worth billions of dollars. He's still at a Chick-fil-A. I'm like, where's security? <laughs> this guy's sitting here eating chicken soup, of all things. And uh, there was no one else in the restaurant. It was the most surreal thing. He's a very nice guy, so uh, eat more chicken. <laughs> Would you like some, some nice uh, I'd, I'd want to be the Burger King, because then you just wear that thing and, I don't know. You get a crown? Yeah, wear the crown. How about you, Elizabeth? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd like to know what your favorite is. Whole Foods have a mascot? Garbanzo bean. Uh, <laughs> lentil. That's lentil princess. I'm just creating a sweet thing. Sweet <laughs> rings have a. Uh, I don't know, right? Do they need a mascot? I'm here. I'm always eating super healthy, so, you know, these guys have known me my whole life, basically. They know. I, I came here, and the first place I went to was Whole Foods, so that I would have my good food through this time. What's your favorite Whole Foods snack? Um, oh my gosh. Uh, well, I, I like almonds or macadamia nuts or um, it's not too exciting. Pir Pirate's booty. Do you guys know Pirate's booty? I put that in my son's lunch and I definitely it's think it's the messiest it. snack ever. I know. <laughs> I will not let my kids eat those in cars. Like, like that yeah. dust gets everywhere. It does. Put it away. It does. Even get outside. Popcorn. What's your favorite Pop-Tart flavor? Favorite oh. Pop-Tart flavor? Oh, my next door neighbor growing up, Lara Calicor. See, we didn't, we weren't allowed to have sugary things in our house, but Lara Calicor did. And we had the strawberry frosted. I'm uh, brown sugar. <laughs> Not toasted. You toast? No. Oh, it ruins it. Ruins it. You gotta have it. I agree. How about you? I mean, I'll do probably whatever is in front of me. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've had them. I'm sure they're all good. Mario used to love blueberry muffins from craft service on set. I would be in the school room and he'd have like two cupcake holders, but like the top, just the, he would eat the tops. <laughs> Multiple blueberry muffins. Best Go ahead. Uh, so I grew up watching Saved by the Bell, best show ever after school. Uh, so my question is, what was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject still remains my favorite subject is history. We, we all have the same tutor on set. Oh, <laughs> Sydney Sharon. We're bringing it down now. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon was our teacher. We were very, we were very lucky. Uh, let's see, what? No, I, I, what? His, his baby, he passed, but he, he was older then. Yeah, he was, he was older. Um, I like the science. Look at this. I like that light. That light is good right Yeah. Uh, let's go over here. Hi, my name's Carly. I'm such a huge fan of 
huge family, you guys. I grew up watching you guys too. And my favorite scenes were the beach scenes. Yes. Any on the beach, especially when you guys were working the summer jobs. But I wanted to know if you had any choice of any weapon in the zombie apocalypse, what would it be? I'm going flamethrower. I've thought about it. <laughs> Can you give me the options? <laughs> but I have unlimited ammo now. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Like unlimited ammo. Yeah. The flamethrower thing is pretty good. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I think you could you could, like do maybe an automatic shotgun. That's uh. Thanks. What's that? It's a lot of face. No, but thanks. Isn't there a video game where you can do the chainsaw kind of thing? That's too close though. I like the splinter thing. Yeah. 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 I feel like Mario has this whole plan, like he knows where he's gonna be camped out, where his supplies are. He's wearing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Spider-Man. Hi, my name is Mikocho, and I'm his mom, Green. What makes you the most happy and what scares you the most? What makes me the most happy and scares you the most? I'm happiest when I'm with uh, my kid and my family and friends and, and together. What scares me the most? Um, I'm not a big fan of rats, <laughs> so I, I, they, they still kind of get me. Yeah, and what makes me happiest, I like your question by the way, um, is definitely my family. Um, that's number one. And scares me the most. Mm. Come back to me on that. Yeah, my, my, my happiest place is when I'm with my wife and my kids and yeah, the family. Uh, I was scared me the most is iPhoto. When I look at those things and I, I look at like the years have gone by so quickly. And I see my son or my daughter, you know, your age, and then next thing you know they're a lot older. Which means I'm a lot older. <laughs> so that's good. Yes. <laughs> Don't Google it. 
it's amazing. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm so excited to see you. My brother and I grew up watching you after school every day and we used to play a game to see how long it took us to guess the episode. We'd get it in like two or three seconds every time. Um, my question for you is if you could have dinner with anybody, dead or alive, who would you pick? Dead or alive? Yep. Yeah. One person? I mean, you can pick more if you want to, but... Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the meal, we're good. <laughs> My grandparents. <Aww. laughs> I don't have anything witty. I mean, that was, that was a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I mean, the first thing that came to my, my mind is I, I, I love our family dinners every night that we have. We usually have a family dinner every night. And I always appreciate it, like sitting down with my wife and my kids and, you know, having a nice, nice meal. It was really, yeah, I don't know. I just like those moments where you just eat. You don't really need to say anything because you're so comfortable with somebody, but you just love their presence. I feel like if I had to have dinner with Jesus Christ or my grandparents, I'd have to, I'd have to start a conversation. <laughs> Jesus, no, I'm saying that's her name, not. Uh, <laughs> better do a lot of listening and you're like, Jesus. So <laughs> you, you don't hear me talking. <laughs> maybe you pick your family at a certain time in life when they're not that age anymore and you wish you could go back and have a dinner with them at a, at a different type of time this past. I love that. Yeah. Thanks. That's so thoughtful. I love that. Go ahead. Hi. Um, so, other than the people in this room, Who is your favorite co-star that you've ever been in a show with, and who would you still want to work with? And who would you still want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Yes. Um, that, that's kind of a tough question to answer because you don't necessarily want to single someone out, and they're all everybody I think is appreciated when they are working in general, much less who they have the opportunity to, to work with. I'm sure we've all got long list of people that would love to work with as well, but it's always kind of hard to kind of fight. Like, Picking your favorite kid, even though I have a favorite kid, <laughs> it's kind of hard to, you know what I mean? At least for me. I mean, for me, I, I really like working with Breck and Meyer. I, I like working with him. We had a good chemistry. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, it's like Lamar said. I get pretty much there's a few uh, that you would say I will never work with that person again. <laughs> but obviously, we can't say that there's people. Uh, but yeah, I mean, generally. Like me working with uh, Dennis Brown was amazing. Working with them is amazing. I mean, the fact that we got the new reboot again was was a really fun time in our career. Uh, yeah. Especially Mark Paul directed an episode, which was amazing. Um, that was fun to do. He had never directed us before, so that was really special. For me, uh, working with Al Pacino, I have to say, oh, any given Sunday was definitely like. You know, and it, 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 it is, it's each job is its own special thing, but um, that was just for specific reasons at that moment in time and that person and the type of work we got to do was really, really one of the more special experiences. Um, were you, when you worked with Al Pacino, were you kind of like, oh my God, it's Al Pacino? Yes, I, well, and you know, sometimes you, in life, you don't want to get too close to your heroes because you don't want to be disappointed, but he just, he was next level and fulfilled anything that I would have hoped for. I felt so respected and so um, just the care and the, it just really an amazing, amazing human and collaborator. I had to work with De Niro and that was the same thing. Like when we got to, I got to do a scene with just him and I, and he's supposed to shoot me at the end of my monologue, and we're on his coverage, and I get like a quarter of the way through my monologue, and he shoots me. <laughs> so I kind of take the fall, but I'm like, man, I saw this dialogue. He didn't care. <laughs> He's like, this is on me. The camera's going to be on me anyway. It doesn't matter what you say. It's... No! And it was the funniest thing. And I was like, me being the actor, I was like, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then afterwards, I was like, uh, you know, I still had a little. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the one thing about De Niro, and I'll say, I don't know about Pacino, 
you know, you expect these actors that have been in the business for a long time like that to kind of phone it in. And this wasn't a big budget film, it was like, you know, a smaller film. He was so prepared, and I remember catching myself while I'm working with him, just going, oh my gosh, that's De Niro. I mean, every movie yeah. that you watch with this guy in, you're just like, that's, I mean, he's, he's a legend. He's, yeah. he's, it's De Niro. Yeah. And it, it, you see it, you're like, that's so cool. You're trying not to do that, because as an actor, you're you like, want to be in the scene. moment. Yeah. It's hard when you're working. Tiffany, 
was always, she always had a boyfriend, right? So when we were doing those scenes where we'd have to be kissing and stuff, she'd have a boyfriend like on set in the audience. So it was like, I don't know, and it, 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 that, that, that was a thing. And, and so, but your guys' chemistry, you guys had like a real like, chemistry. Um, I don't know, it's because you said Anyway. Hi, um, first of all, I love the show, Great Washington. Like that funny Paul, do you have any plans to join the range? <laughs> you know, I actually did um, some before with, uh, I think I saw him at Venus uh, a, while, a while back. But we've done, um, I've done some these interstitials, which means like these little hosting things with the WWE, because they're part of the NBC Universal family where I, where I work now, and, um, and so they're overall Peacock. So I do a lot of stuff with those guys. It's funny because I loved wrestling as a kid, and then I took about a 30 year break, and now my kids are into it, and so I'm kind of getting back into it with them. It's gone like nice and flat, but it's a lot of stuff. And they just had WrestleMania now, like, which was uh, which was a lot of fun. Who was your favorite wrestler as a kid? Oh, I mean, I was like a Hulk Hogan, Rocky Romero, Bruce Pritchard, Jim Duggan, Bruce Pritchard, like all those guys. Yeah. 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 All right, well, I have four kids, ages five to 18, and we have a lot of dance parties at my house. And also, I happen to own a dance studio, performing arts studio, and I love it so much. And so I just have kids dancing around me all the time, and it's the best thing in the whole world. Love that, love It's that. great. What's the name of your studio? Red Rock Studios. Do you guys compete? We do, yes. Yeah, and we have so much fun. So we, we do theater and dance and all the different things. So. But a couple of weeks ago, one of my students hurt her ankle, so I lovingly got to teach her the Lisa. So my question, yes, so my question for you, do you have a favorite dance move? And if you want to show my students because it's being filmed, that would be fantastic. <laughs> What's funny is now, because my daughter's uh, really into TikTok, so she'll get me mm -hmm. all the dances and she'll get the whole family in on the act. She's like a little Paul Abdul, a little choreographer, and gets everyone in. But and she got swag too, so she can move. That's good. But it, 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 uh, the dances now are bad to get naughty. <laughs> I definitely to understand. We try to keep it super cool. Yeah, I'm hard. really for that. Yeah. Like, hey, like, you know. Just have fun, but anyway. Any favorite dance moves? Oh, I don't know if I got favorites. Just as long as I'm, I, I like to dance. I like, I like to move. I, I don't know if I got favorites, to be honest with you. No, I don't have a favorite. I, <laughs> I, um, I'm just obsessed with dance. It's my, it's my thing. I just, when I dance, I feel most myself. Um, so when I, when it's out of my kind of fitness schedule or regime, I, I don't feel right. So whenever I'm doing it, it's, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, so I mean, since I was four, and I grew up doing 17 lessons a week, um, and I didn't compete, but we did Tremaine, so I don't know if your kids do the Tremaine, but I, so I would do, I lived in Farmington Hills, Michigan, and they would come to our town, and on a stage like this, and I would be like one of the sea of kids, but I would always fight my way to the front in the middle and um, to make sure they would notice me so that I could maybe one day go to Hollywood. And so um, these conventions and these things and you know what you're teaching the kids at the studio, whether they become a professional or not, those skills are to me life skills. It's like kids who do sports. Like, if you do dance and performing arts, and I just strongly encourage any parents here whose kids are, are dying to try it, um, the discipline, the work ethic, it powers everything I do in life. Like, it's behind everything. So, um, thank you for being amazing. with the New York City Ballet, and so that was just a big deal. 
in my life as a kid. <clears throat> um, but I, I, I've gotten to use it in different, in different shows, TV and film and stage. So that, that's been great to be able to utilize it in different ways, different mediums. My name is Lucy, and I was wondering if you like scary movies, and if you do, what is your favorite scary movie? <laughs> yes, I like scary movies. Um, I'm probably go with the classic, The Exorcist, just because growing uh, up Catholic, it spooked me out. <laughs> and I was really little when it came out. So. I was really little too, and my my older brother was 16 years old. I thought it was a good idea to take me home. I never was afraid of the dark until that movie. Uh, her, I could never meet anyone named Aaron. Um, is it that you know, she turns and she goes, Aaron? Uh, you know what's scary to me too now? It's like, it was Ben, was it like Gremlins? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know These little things, like scared the. I get scared of a walk. No, my boy. The, 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 uh, multiply. Multiply. Yeah. The water and sunlight, right? Like, you know what's, you know what's kind of scary too is the original uh, Night of the Living Dead. When you start seeing zombies and stuff, you're a little kid that thought scary. It was all black and white. Texas Chainsaw felt like it was like a, you know, like somebody's home movie. Yeah, that was a, supposed to be a true story. Right. They said it was bad. Yeah, that was good. That was a classic. That was good. What's your favorite? Rosemary's baby is terrifying, no? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. My thing after junior high was to come home, make some ramen noodles, and watch Save by the Bell. Um, what was, what's your guys' favorite like snack and routine or show that you would watch? You're doing like the ramen noodles like in the packet, like the square. Those are still brilliant. <laughs> Soy sauce ones now too. Those are, those are pretty good too. I like the noodles as well. I like all that stuff. I remember my parents would have like a date night Saturday nights, and my brother and I would order Domino's pizza and watch Love. No, it was Dance Fever, Love Boat, and Fantasy Island. That was kind of a Saturday night back in the day. Damn. You're old. <laughs> you, oh, like you didn't watch those? I, I heard of them. Uh, you know what's funny is, is not the ramen noodles, but you know the couple of soups, the couple of noodle soups and stuff, because they used to put a lot of hot sauce and you put them in and stuff. So because growing up, I was always go-to. I'd have a cup of soup, I'd make like quesadillas, and then you'd scramble some eggs and beans. You know, you'd use like a little thing, you scoop, because that's, that's like really easy. Scramble what? Scramble eggs and weenies. Weenies? weenies? <laughs> We want to say wieners. <laughs> you say wieners. It's not like wieners. Say it's close. Right, I would have thought it would have been Montacos. Montacos. Montacos, yes. That was a children's book that I that I wrote uh, series. Perfect. Hey, it's your homework, girl. I like that. <laughs> not up here to look pretty. That's your job. She's not us. <laughs> Go ahead. Nice to see all of you. Um, you are my childhood, and I love all of you. Um, my name is Jenny. I don't know if I can ask this, if you can answer it. If not, it's fine. It's from Mario. What was it like to work with the Golden Girls? Oh, when you were like, what, 12 maybe? Yeah, I think I was like 12. You know, you know what's funny is that I had worked with uh, B. Arthur, uh, who played Dorothy yep. on the show like a couple times already. And even as a little kid, I might have been younger than no, I was watching. But even as a little kid, I was, I, I was, she, she was very, very funny. And all the girls were really cool. And then I ended up working with Betty White like three times. I did Golden Girls, I did Hot and Cleat Men, and then we did this other show together. You guys dated it too. And we did. <laughs> we kept that on the DL though, so not even. And then, um, they were very, very nice. You know what was a trip though? Because I was just talking about this on my show the other day. We did a thing with the Golden Girls. You know how old the Golden Girls were on the show? You know how old they were supposed to be? So Dorothy, that, that's a, we're like the same age right now. Right? Dorothy, Dorothy was 50. That's crazy. Blanche, Betty White, 53. What about this? Rue McClanahan? Okay, she was 47. Okay, and then 
Estelle Getty was the only one that was supposed to be 79. So we're like at the same age as the Golden Girls right now. Like, <laughs> I grew 15 years older than Dennis Haskins was when yeah. he started Saved by the Bell as a principal. I grew 15 years older than Mr. Building was. No. <laughs>
kid actors, or teen actors, that we've all continued to have really wonderful careers where we get to do what we love. Um, but we all don't mind being recognized for that because, again, like the joy that it's brought people, like, what's wrong with that, right? It only makes us feel good to know that it continues to bring joy. So it doesn't surprise you that someone has that feeling like, hey, Stephanie, you can No, no, and it happens. Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Natalie. Um, I have two questions. I would love any behind the scenes funny stories you have. And then also, did you guys get a say in kind of any episodes, like the stories, or did you give any suggestions? No, we, we didn't. We didn't get any uh, creative control. We just, uh, pretty much got the scripts and uh, did accordingly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. And, and remember, it was originally a Saturday morning show, right? So it was very, very juvenile and um, vanilla. And in the by, by today's standards, especially with teenagers, it was man. It was incredibly innocent. So, I don't know, maybe that was part of the charm, but, um, uh, yeah, we had no control. I mean, the only thing is, I think as the writers got to know us personally, they would start to integrate things they may notice, little quirks or personal or isms or talents. Or talents. Or talents. Yeah. 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 So we didn't get to contribute to storylines, but um, yeah, I think mainly they would kind of observe us. One thing I know is that a professional writer in his late 30s or early 40s would love to hear what a 12 year old has to say. You should be writing about, you know, I have an idea. <laughs> so that, I don't, <laughs> that was never a thing. It's actually, yeah, it's, it's a lot of the things that I've been on. Um, you know, NYPD Blue, for instance, you got those scripts and you had to say word by word. If you change anything, somebody, somebody would come in and say, no, that's not, a, that's not in the script. Um, and that's just out of respect to the writers a lot of the times, you know? They respect what you do and you respect what they do. Um, in terms of anecdotes behind the scenes, is that Yeah, any funny stories of a favorite episode we did? Again, I just think of like my time on the beach. I think that that was like a, 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 a fun time. I think I had just got my license, so being able to drive. And... We all, yeah, we all got our driver's licenses together. These bright of passage moments, you know, we all experienced them, we all. We were able to get our first car after a few seasons, or you know, we just step by step we got to realize these dreams together, but like adolescent times, true adolescence. Did you have a, a white mustache? Black. It was black. <laughs> it was black. Yeah. I just remember some of the cars, like, you know. Let's see, you know, let's see. Oh, I started with an Afro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a heavy gun. It was a heavy gun. Let's do one more question over here, please. Okay, I just first of all want to thank you guys for always being so dedicated to your TV show and doing panels and talking to people like you do. You're very gracious. And Mario, thank you for being so candid on your podcast. I love you and your wife, and, and you're helping millions of people, and you don't realize it, so thank you for that. And thank you both, too, as well, because my niece, she's 43 now, adores you guys, and she's going to kill me because she's in Florida. But she does work at Universal Studios, so that's exciting, and I'm going to brag about it. But thank you so much, guys, and have a great day. Thank great you. Thank you. Kind words. Thank